Welcome back to Marketing Champions on Daily Ad Brief. My name is Howard Walpuff, and we are talking about marketing around the country with great companies and really with great people who are getting messages resonating with an audience. And today we have Dana Humphrey from Whitegate PR out of Queens, New York. Dana, welcome to the conversation. That's right. Awesome. Thank you. Glad to have you. So you are working with different types of companies and really helping them get their 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 messaging out and uh, and and getting people to uh, to take notice. So, so why don't you tell us about what you do and how you got started? Sure. Well, we do traditional media relations, public relations. Um, I started the company back in 2007, so I've been doing this for a while, and we specialize in the pet industry. So all of our clients are pet product manufacturers or pet experts. And the pet industry is actually bigger than mag um, candy, video games, and movies combined. It's an $84 billion industry. Wow. Um, so, so I help work with um, companies that are either B2B or B2C um, that have a cool pet product that they want to get out to the market. Um, so we write press releases. We send them out to journalists. Um, we don't do anything mass. We do everything really custom. At this point, um, I've met a lot of the journalists and um, editors and things in the space. And so, um, you know, we do personalized pitching uh, with our press releases to the media and get our clients featured in magazines, newspapers, TV, blogs, podcasts. And the big thing that I'm seeing right now is really with COVID, um, it has been challenging to get our guests, um, get our clients on TV. Um, that's something that's really been a strong suit for us in the past um, of, you know, being able to think like a producer and get the um, segments all nice and buttoned up just like a producer would like them. And in this day and age, you know, it's a lot of talking about COVID and, um, and has been for the last, you know, year and a half. And so, um, I'm wondering when that's going to loosen up and we're going to have some opportunity to kind of do some more uh, lifestyle type segments um, on, on regular TV. Have they been doing, I guess, Zoom like interviews? Has that been part of the process? Yeah. Um, you know, and it's funny, a lot of the TV stations don't use Zoom. They use, they use Skype. Um, but yeah, that has been part of it. Um, but it's a lot less than it used to be. And um, it's a, it's more for hard hitting news than a little bit more of the light, the lighter material that we sometimes deal with. So, how did you get involved in the pet industry? Was this the, was this what you set out to do, or this kind of fell in based on some of the clients you were getting? It kind of fell into place. Um, I have a degree in public relations from San Diego State University, and at that time. Um, our family pug, Winston, uh, moved in with me because my parents were moving to Thailand. So I had a dog and I had a new PR degree and I started working for a company called Muttropolis, um, doing all their PR and marketing. And um, once I quit there and went out to start my own company, um, I started out doing all kinds of, um, of public relations for all kinds of uh, products and services. And after about two years, um, about half my clients were in the pet industry and I decided to really just focus. And I always tell people, you know, uh, I always recommend, you know, you can never be niche enough. Um, I love working in the pet space. Um, people that work in the pet industry are really passionate about what they do. And um, it's a great uh, vertical to be in. And it's great to have that, that passion. It's focus every day and, and so really doing something that you love. How, how do you yeah. see this uh, this this PR world for for pets evolving over the next couple of years? Well, I mean, also during the pandemic, um, there's been a lot of increased pet adoptions. A lot more people have dogs now. We're um, now what I'm hearing in the pet industry is there's a second round, a second wave happening, where people, you know, a year ago, year and a half ago, adopted a dog, adopted a cat. Now they're going back to work, going back to the office, and they're getting a second one. So for certain pet companies, um, this time has really been booming. And for others, um, it's been lacking. It just depends how quickly they've been able to pivot um, and kind of jump on board and get online. Um, but I see some really cool things happening, like Amazon now has a feature called Amazon Live. They have a puppy love show 
that I've been able to um, work with them on some of that. And um, there's some, yeah, there's some more like kind of integrated um, marketing channel things that are happening that um, I guess people like us in the PR world have to, um, you know, step up and, and get in on it. And it's, it's good that these companies have you to see what's out there and, and, uh, and guide them in the right direction because these PR opportunities are phenomenal for growth for companies, and which is exactly why they seek out someone like you to, to give them that guidance and support. And uh, it, it sounds like there's a, there's a lot of good things on the horizon for you and for them. So thank you so much for sharing this with us and for all that you're doing for, for your clients. Thanks. Thank you, Howard. And thank you all for joining us today. Dana has some great uh, information, great, uh, r really great experience with working with these companies and uh, all the great things that she does. And there's more information about her on uh, dailyadbrief.com. So please check it out. But go out, have a great rest of the day today, and we'll see you next time on Marketing Champions.